In this video it's time to talk about Helix objects in AutoCAD when working with PyAutoCAD, a module that we are documenting on our blog, Supply Chain Data Analytics. Um, it's a module uh, that allows you to uh, execute or implement AutoCAD optimization using Python. And in this video we will talk about the Helix object and how you can manipulate it using PyAutoCAD. You can also find this documentation on our blog by linking uh, by clicking the link in the video description. Um, and there you will also be able to find um, other additional documentation on other objects, operations, um, and workflows related to PyAutoCAD. What I'm doing here in this script, uh, which is a script that we developed for this um, documentation, is um, I use the PyAutoCAD module, which you have to install, um, and I import uh, relevant classes, the AutoCAD and the A-Point class, and I uh, create a new uh, template that um, that will be used now um, throughout um, this uh, script. One thing to note is that in previous videos we looked at, for example, polylines and how you can create polylines in AutoCAD using PyAutoCAD, uh, or how to create arcs and ellipses. You cannot create a Helix object with PyAutoCAD, so instead um, you have to work with pre-created helixes um, when using PyAutoCAD. Um, in this example, uh, we created a Helix object. You can also see it here in 3D. Um, and it has some uh, relevant um, properties. So for example, it's specified by a top radius, which is in this case 250 uh, units as the radius up here. And it has a bottom radius, a smaller bottom radius of 200. It has a height of 100. And its center point is specified to be X2000, uh, Y1500. Um, now, if we want to manipulate an existing Helix object in our AutoCAD drawing, first step would be to find the um, Helix object. And for this, we can use a method available to us in PyAutoCAD uh, called the iterObjects method. What this method does, it is returns um, all objects that have been created in the um, AutoCAD template. And we can sort that list um, of object references um, and search for, for example, the property object name and see if the object name property matches um, the name of this type of object. And in PyAutoCAD, a Helix object has the um, type name or object name uh, ACDB Helix, which is uh, listed here. So if you use the object name property of um, of the objects in PyAutoCAD that are in our drawing, we can see if they match this name and if the uh, currently uh, analyzed object matches um, this object name, then we know this is a Helix object. Uh, so for in this in this coding example, we for example implement a method for that just to demonstrate how you can use the iter objects method on the uh, currently existing AutoCAD template, how you can loop through this list of objects um, that are currently placed in the, in the template, and how you can uh, check the object name uh, property and see if it matches ACDB Helix. Uh, there is some more documentation with regards to that here, um, but what I want to conclude with is I want to point out that even though we cannot create a Helix object uh, with PyAutoCAD, we can definitely uh, change the shape uh, and also the location of an existing Helix object. We can access a lot of properties using PyAutoCAD. We can, for example, access the top and base radius. Um, we can access the height. We can uh, access the twist, the turn height, the total length, the turns, turn slope. All of these things are, are properties that we can um, that we can adjust. And we can also move 
the object to a new location. Uh, that's also one example that we, we demonstrated here in, in this, uh, in this uh, coding example. Um, and to conclude that, uh, I here have some lines of code um, that adjust the top radius, the base radius, the height, and the twist property value. And you can see um, that our helix object has changed its uh, shape, especially when we look at it in 3D. Um, so now the top radius is smaller than the base radius, which you can see here. Um, and and, and uh, that is uh, achieved by manipulating the property values of this existing helix object that we did not create using PyAutica. And that's um, it for now. This was just a quick introduction to Helix object using PyAutoCAD for AutoCAD. And as I mentioned, you can uh, click the link in the video description that will take you to the documentation and also other related PyAutoCAD documentation that we're continuously publishing on our blog.